I create a lot of content about AI tools. And I think that researchers should really learn to use these tools to be more efficient in their research and be able to do things that they might not have been able to do, at least not as quickly as we could do with AI. But a big thing that's coming up is, will AI replace researchers? And this is really coming up in every field, especially knowledge-based fields and information-based fields, is if AI can do all these amazing things like humans, is AI going to replace researchers? So I want to take this video and really explain my thoughts on this and how you can make sure that you're not going to be replaced by AI. So to get started, the AI currently available is all narrow AI, which means it can do one specific task well. So take something like ChatGPT. It can take a prompt and it can give an output that is text-based. If you take something like Midjourney or some of the image generators, it takes a text prompt and generates a specific image. But you don't really have AI that can do all the different things that a human can do, right? You don't have general AI. You don't have AI that can literally just do all these different things all the time without any additional training versus narrow AI, which does one specific thing well. And researchers, we do a lot. Think about all the things that you do as a researcher. You have to take in information and then be able to output that information. You have to think of new ideas. You have to figure out limitations and how to overcome limitations. You have to actually go and do the research that you're trying to do, whether that's interviewing people, whether that's going into the lab and collecting data, whether all the different things you have to do. You probably have to do some coding. You have to do so many different things. And a lot of that is also being human-based, right? You have to present your research and you need to present it in a way where you can answer questions, where you can become knowledgeable about a field. And so far, no AI that I've ever seen comes anywhere close to really fulfilling what a researcher does. So overall, will AI directly replace researchers? I don't think that's ever going to actually happen. I think researchers can work with AI to be able to do things that they might not have been able to do, or at least do things more efficiently that they might not have been able to do before. But I don't think you can just take an AI and instead of having professors, instead of having research scientists, you can just have AI running all of it. You're going to run into a lot of issues, especially because if you ever go to ChatGPT, you're going to know that it tells you wrong stuff all the time. You have to, as a human, be able to go and figure out, okay, maybe it's a shortcut to figuring out the answer, but it's not a direct result. You can't just have a client come in, ask for something, and then let AI take over. The second thing about AI is that AI can't generate most data. So if you had AI doing an interview with someone, you're going to miss key parts of data that an interviewer is going to be able to collect. And even if they do do an interview, having an AI doing that interview may actually bias the results a little bit based off of how that AI was programmed. Another thing is if you're a lab-based scientist, so if you're a chemist, biologist, physicist, any of the lab-based science, even psychologists, there's no way that there's going to be enough AI to replace you in going in, creating your solutions, creating whatever you're creating, analyzing it, all of the things that we do as scientists. There's no way that AI is going to be re able to replace that. I don't think there's a valid fear in, is AI going to be able to replace me? No, AI is not going to be able to replace you as a researcher. You do way too many things for something like AI, at least current AI, to ever have a chance of actually replacing you. However, I do think AI is capable of replacing certain researchers. And what I'm going to say, what I mean by that is that researchers who learn to work well with AI, learn to work well with computers, are going to end up being more efficient and more effective in their research that they are going to start replacing researchers who refuse to do those same things. So, for example, let's take AI out of it. Let's just think about something computer-wise. If you are still manually doing your references, Somebody who uses a reference manager like Zotero, Mendeley, EndNote, they are going to be more efficient in writing research papers, making presentations, all of those things than you are who is manually doing your references. 
and they are probably even going to be more effective. They're going to be probably more accurate because they don't have the risk of, oh, I forgot to change this one number somewhere because all of your references are hard-coded and their references are dynamic. So what that means is the more time you spend not learning how to use a reference manager, the more time you're actually wasting creating this same system so that if you make one change in your paper, you now have to spend hours redoing all your references. Or if you change one journal to another journal, it takes me and Zotero maybe a minute to switch all my reference styling, where it probably takes you hours to days to get everything switched over to submit it to a different journal. So whenever you, these two people are going head to head, maybe they're in the exact same field. One person used a reference manager and was able to accomplish more in the same time as another person. Well, yeah, they're more likely to get the next job. They're more likely to go up further. And really the only difference between the two is likely that one is using some form of tool to make their job easier and to focus on the value that they bring, which is their ability to think, create knowledge and investigate wonders of the world, really, where the other one takes away from their value by doing something that a computer can do. So as AI becomes more prevalent and there's so much more you can do with AI so much faster, like looking for a research article, something with Elicit can look for it, can give you a table of all these summaries and these questions that you've asked so that you can really simply in a glance, understand what all these different papers are presenting versus going to Google Scholar, getting a bunch of papers, downloading the PDFs, looking through the PDFs, analyzing it, and trying to generate that table yourself. So using something like a list, it's going to do it much faster, which means you can start doing other things with that time versus doing something like Google Scholar. You can use something like Site AI's assistant to be able to figure out oh, I know that this is a fact. What are the actual sources that support this fact? Let's be honest, we all do it. We all know certain things in our field because we've been taught them over and over again. We've read them places, but we forget which exact sources actually contributed to that knowledge. So you can use something like Cydian's tool to be able to say, okay, this is where that source came from and be able to do that much faster than someone who then goes to Google Scholar and has to relook that up. Or even be, even if you're not going to use AI, be someone that takes the notes in something like Zotero or Notion so that you can just search the keywords and it's going to pop up for you. And that's actually what I did in grad school before we had all these AI tools to be able to do this work. So if you're someone who's saying, I'm not going to even get into AI, AI is going to replace researchers, anything like that, I really recommend learning to work with AI because it's going to be really important for your career as a researcher. It's going to be really helpful as scientists to be able to be more efficient. Just like people might have been really against reference managers in the beginning, now they've become commonplace. And I think the exact same thing is going to happen with AI tools, but it's never going to replace the researcher as long as the researcher understands that they're working with an AI tool to make it more efficient and they're not entirely depending on an AI tool. That is just as bad as not learning AI at all, but maybe even worse because you are have now removed your value as a researcher if you're just going to something like ChatGPT and asking it to write your research articles or any of these other systems and just asking it to create things and not actually putting in your value as a researcher. If you feel super overwhelmed with all of this and you don't know where to start, download my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's going to get you started in your field and you're going to be able to see where AI can actually help you. But first, it's going to focus on making sure that you are getting value by becoming an actual researcher, developing your project. And that's where your value is going to come from as a researcher and why AI is never going to be able to replace you. If this video is helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to become a more efficient researcher. And I hope to see you in the next video.